Hey, hello, good evening. Today it's a Tuesday. It's nearly 11 p.m. Uh, it's dark outside. I'm sitting behind my computer, not sure knowing what to do. You know, I want to talk. <clears throat> so I put a couple of uh, sentences down on the paper, uh, what I encountered today, and I would love to talk about it. So we'll see where it will go. <clears throat> Um, I watched a couple of YouTubes, uh, it went reasonably well, did have some uh, pauses every now and then, and then watched it later uh, to continue with uh, where I was, what I was watching. Uh, the first one was Reincarnation with Carol Bowman, very interesting. Uh, she did uh, research on children who were talking about past lives, and she made, um, she... Yeah, how do you say that? She wrote them, them down in a book. So very cool and interesting. Um, for me, you know, as something, uh, as someone talking about the reincarnation all the time, it was a very good book, you know, and uh, I would love to see more from her. Uh, the other thing I was uh, looking on YouTube about was about the Meyer Briggs um, personality test. Not sure if it's true have to say that but I have to say uh, many years ago I did that test uh, on a regular basis I, I it wasn't just one time it was multiple times and every time even today I got INFP so I watched a couple of uh, movies about it um, yeah they say people who are INFP are um, good at writing uh, good in the arts, good in music, uh, you know, creative things. And uh, that's true. I, I love doing that. And also uh, take your own time, you know, time to relax, time to get by uh, from daily hustling, you know. And uh, uh, that's, yeah, it was um, bing, right on top. What else did I do today? I read, I saw also, not today, but uh, yesterday, uh, a couple of movies about drugs and um, for me it's not good to use drugs I don't do that um, but I did saw a couple of interesting things and one was with, was with mushrooms and the, of uh, truffles actually uh, below which grow below the surface and the other one was DMT I never tried it so I don't know what it's like but I did hear many stories about it and they all said they were um, recalling that they met um, yes, kind of elves, things like that. And one of them told me, uh, when I said, you know, those are um, good people, probably people from the afterlife. And they have good intentions and they want to tell you about love and feeling and caring and things like that. So I think it, it is possible that you will meet with uh, the higher spheres, you know, that you get visions about that and that you can talk with them and you see beautiful com colors and images and things like that. It is possible. And otherwise, I don't know what it's all about. But um, shrooms, yeah, I think that's really tough. Mm. Um, for me, that's not good. Oh, even though I would love to try one, maybe two things out uh, in my life. Um, I, use, I, I did smoke weed. Mm, but, you know, it's not the same. So it's, it's totally different. I probably won't. And that's probably the best thing I can do. But it's interesting. It, it really attracts me. Uh, what else did I do today? Um, yeah, nothing much, actually. A bit th uh, thinking about schizophrenia, uh, reading my thoughts, um, Droste effect, you know, that you see uh, one image in, in, in the mirror for 100 times every direction where, where it will go to. Uh, it's, it's also what I told last time with the chessboard or uh, a board of Go, you know, you have so many choices and uh, you see inner images and, and, and things like that and, and thoughts what what do they go to you know when when losing track of yourself that that's really tough that, that is really big 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 shit <laughs> oh my god but um, I watched a couple of YouTubes from uh, March and I must say I do feel better also the way I look um, 
you know, and maybe because it was winter time or something like that. I don't know. But and in the last couple of weeks, I feel better. I do have fallbacks every now and then, of course, but yeah, more more in peace in a way, and and that I can. Um, I don't know what relaxing is. You know, I forgot about that. But I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to relax again, and to have a good conversation with a friend or who knows who. You know, in the last couple of days, it was with friends. Uh, like a week ago, I had a small party. And I had good conversations, and I really enjoyed them. You know, and that that was really nice. That was nice, because I don't see that many people in a, often anymore. Uh, some never called back. Some didn't pick up the phone. You know, so I don't mind. But I do like being on my own, and do like to think about the afterlife, and also have to have conversations within myself to learn how to speak again and to be open again, but also to talk. Um, to possible ghosts, spirits, spirits, I have to say spirits, that they are here every now and then, and that that is reality. And because of that, that knowledge, I can let go of my own psychosis in which I'm lost within in, in thoughts, you know. I know that is not true, but when having an episode, it is true, and then I can't do anything about it. I feel really strange and odd and weird. I had that on that party a week ago as well. I thought, I have to go right now. So when the chance appeared, I went straight home. And um, But in that way, I can do visit friends every now and then. Even if it's one, one and a half hour. Just have a small chat and to say, oh, it's okay, I'm doing well, and things like that. Um, I think that's really important. Uh, it is. It is important, you know, because you can't be on your own all the time. But I, I do learn from that, and I do know that the friends I have left are really great friends. You know, I can do anything with them. You know, talk, chat, listen to music, sometimes a beer. It, that is true, of course. Although I don't know if it's, I can't do that actually with my medicine. But you know, every now and then. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if it's a good one. Uh, we'll see about that. It's 7.30 minutes at this moment. So I will read out my last poem. Didn't put it on Cosmo Funnel yet. Not sure if I will. So here we here it goes. Meeting up with friends and family on a sunny day on Sunday during summertime. A gathering in a local cafe with good souls before flowing over again across town and beyond. Other places to enjoy life until we meet again next time. Flowing in between lives, learning about them, moving in feelings through them, projecting them on this life, to let go and move further. All the knowledge will stay within you, never to forget. You're inside a womb while you live on earth, butterflies fly near, your soul and spirit will bloom like a flower when returning home again. Growing as a baby within the universe, remembering the afterlife where you came from, when being reborn, you're still flowing over between two worlds and feelings. I had that myself as well as a baby. I, I remember that well. The place where you stay in the afterlife will represent your vibration with that sphere. The more you know about it, the more you will share that vision with others surrounding you. Always welcome, never alone. You will meet other people from past lives as well, all connecting towards a new bright future. Some believe in the afterlife, some don't believe a single thing. You can have good relationships though, but you are most more easy going and make different choices finding your roots in the afterlife. It will be played in your life with beautiful images and sounds, taking pictures from all your big events throughout your lives. Eventually, eventually your new home will become in the higher spheres. Even then it's temporarily, because you will move to other planets with your twin soul. Hmm. Ah, hmm. That was nice to talk for a bit. So. It's nearly 9.22. I will quit with it today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.